think it's okay. So hi uh, everyone. Before starting, I would like to thank uh, Vlad and uh, Wendy who uh, well organized this event and let me the opportunity to, to be here today. And uh, also thank you uh, to you all uh, to be there um, and see this great uh, um, uh, day of uh, creativity uh, in just one day. So uh, thank you very much. I will talk today about, as the, the slide say, uh, the serendipian creative potential generate and size unexpected professional opportunities. Uh, but before I started, I would like to uh, introduce myself a little bit more deeply. So when I was young, I used to be a professional basketball player. And after that, I used to be a physiotherapist in a hospital. I used to help elderly to walk after a fall. And I, I, I build um, a physical activity training to help them to, to, to get better. After that, I did a PhD in uh, psychology about serendipity. And then I'm currently working in an innovation team uh, as a psychology researcher uh, in a French startup called Jobteaser. My main focus today is more about uh, guidance and uh, uh, recruitment process. So why uh, did I tell you all of my uh, journey? Um, because um, there is some unexpected event that impact this journey because when you see the, the link between all those experiences, it appears like a little bit weird to be a, a, like a, a physiotherapist then after to the PhD, PhD in psychology. But uh, the, the links between uh, all those experiences, it's unexpected event. I will just share one uh, unexpected event uh, to, to illustrate uh, that point. Uh, one day, I was in the library and I came across a book with a big uh, sedentarity in the front. Uh, and I, I took it because uh, I used to, to, to study uh, physical activity when I, I, I did a master's degree in physical activity to, to be a, a, a sport trainer for, for health. And, um, and I think it was about uh, sedentarity. And uh, I took the book and instead of sedentarity, it was uh, serendipity. And then after I, I fall in love with this thematic. So uh, it was this book from uh, uh, Beck Monandel and Daniel Bourcy. And uh, that's why after I, I did a PhD in, uh, in, uh, in psychology to, to more st to study more deeply uh, serendipity. So thank you to uh, Daniel Bourcy and Beck Monandel. Uh, if uh, they, were, they, they didn't bought this book, I will not be here today to, to talk with you. So thank you uh, for that. And uh, I will now uh, uh, begin the presentation of the, uh, of the day. So there is the, the plan, theoretical framework in first. Then after a serendipity training, I will uh, show you uh, one of, the, of, the, of our studies, then uh, conclusion and perspectives. So uh, as a preamble, I wanted to, to, to be sure that we are in, in the same page when we talk about serendipity. Uh, I, I completely... Um, uh, embrace the definition of Walpole. So serendipity is an interaction between the perception of an unexpected event and the ability to use it, accident, and sagacity. Um, and just to be sure we are also in the same page, um, uh, and predictability is the sine qua non condition of the serendipity. Uh, serendipity is really a post hoc phenomenon, and we cannot program serendipity. Uh, we just can uh, and hence the, the, the context uh, around the, the, the serendipity process, but not serendipity. It, it's really a postdoc phenomenon. <clears throat> so for the first part, the theoretical framework, to begin, we just talk about the, the context today. Um, the, the 21st century offers the emergence of a new relationship uh, to work. The chance can reflect the, the, the increase of uncertainties and uh, COVID is one of the best <laughs> example. Um, uh, economic disruption, globalization, uh, the, the advancement of technology, uh, artificial, uh, artificial uh, uh, intelligence, 
uh, and so on, impact in uh, the, the, the labor market. And uh, as a result, uh, individuals will have more uncertainty, uh, uncertainties in their career choices, and they will have to, 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 to decide more quickly about uh, their the, the choice, uh, and, and, and they have multiple uh, cycles in, the, in their career. Um, and this contextual, contextual uh, uncertainties uh, leads us to take a closer look um, to the importance of unexpected events uh, in uh, professional careers. So uh, what do we know about the, 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 these elements? There's a lot of studies who, who, who study that um, and show that uh, in different population, with different population who has impact on uh, their career with unexpected even workers and students. And also we have uh, another um, study with um, a more specific field, which was a woman psychology researcher who talk about um, uh, their careers and they, they, they mentioned uh, one or two um, a main uh, unexpected event in their career and that impact their career. And 66% of uh, workers and students mentioned uh, unexpected event also. So that's quite a lot. So how can we uh, manage uh, unexpected in careers? There are different frameworks, there's different theory behind the, the, the management of unexpected in careers. We have in the first place, the life design from Savikas. We have also uh, the, the happenstance le uh, learning theory from uh, Convos. And we also have the, the, the chaos theory from uh, Prayer and Bright. And uh, we have to choose between those main, there's others, uh, of course, but we, the, the, the main are, three are, are here, but uh, we have to choose one. And uh, we choose the, the, the happenstance learning theory from uh, Convos. But to be completely honest with you, um, if we had to choose a, another one today, I think I would go with the, the live design with more complete and have a, a more uh, holistic uh, uh, perception of, of guidance. And, 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 and for me today, um, uh, the habitants learning theory is one key element included in the live design. So just that, uh, to be uh, completely honest with you, but what we are going to, to to, to do today are uh, still accurate, don't, don't worry. <laughs> so when we talk about the abstinence learning theory, uh, uh, just to, to, to begin, it, it says that career paths depends on countless planned and unplanned learning experience uh, from birth to, 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 to time uh, we are doing uh, now to now. And there's not just one possible path, but many possibilities. Um, and how did the, the happiness learning theory manage the unexpected? First of all, the, 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 the first key element is to improve exploration that will generate, generate new opportunities. Um, second element will be uh, to foster the skills that enhance the sizing of opportunities. So what are these skills? that enhance sizes opportunities. I will show you the, the next slide. First, first uh, competencies, it will be uh, risk-taking, is defined as the ability to act in the face of uncertain results to recognize the possibility of failure, first skills. Second one, tenacity, capacity to handle frustration and disappointment to reach a goal, capacity to overcome obstacles and difficulties in solving a problem. Third one, flexibility, capacity to change one's way of seeing things and behavior, to grasp an idea from different angles. Optimism, capacity to consider new opportunities as possible and achievable, to consider that bad things can improve and good will happen. And the last one, openness, capacity to open up and size new knowledge experiences to meet new people. So if we take a step be, uh, behind, uh, in the, the happiness inventory, you have to enhance the exploration uh, of the person and also these five uh, skills that we mentioned. Now we will uh, take uh, build a bridge between two uh, area of the literature. We talk about guidance literature with the habitants laboratory, and now we're gonna talk about the creativity field, um, uh, and we will, and you will uh, understand why just after. 
So, um, first of all, the definition of creativity, I think um, many uh, <laughs> have defined it, but I will just uh, define it uh, just in case. The ability to achieve creativity, creativity is the ability to achieve a production that is both new and adapted to the context, to the context it, in which it occurs from uh, Lubox. Um, um, the results of creativ creativity can be uh, an idea, can be a product, can be a new process. Um, and from the element, I, I put in both the, the, the new and the adapted because it's two key elements in the definition. Um, for the new element, it, it, it means that the, the production differs from the others I've already realized. The novelty can be a very important or simply a slight of deviation from something that already exists. And the adaptability, the adapted element, uh, refers to the fact that the production must respect the constraint and, uh, of the content in which uh, occurs. <clears throat> to better understand the, 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 the creativity, we will um, present you the multivariate approach of creativity from Lubot, um, it says that um, creativity depends on cognitive factors, cognitive factors, emotional factors, and environmental factors. And the creativity appears to be a combination of individual and contextual elements. And the creative potential of the person will therefore result from the interaction between all those different uh, factors uh, related to the characteristics of the need of the need needed in the specific context and uh, of the field in which we uh, the problem is uh, about and now we will go on, we're going to focus on just two uh, factors the cognitive factors and the cognitive ones and you will understand why just after so the cognitive factor first, we, we have identification, definition and redefinition of the problem, selective uh, encoding, selective comparison, selective combination, divergent thinking, evaluation of ideas, flexibility. In the uh, cognitive factors, you will have cognitive styles, motivation, personality. We will have tolerance of two brainquity, individualism, uh, psychotism, tenacity, openness, risk-taking, optimism. All those different uh, factors will impact the creative potential of the person. And what we see here is that the different factors that we put in, in bold is the same as we have in the happenstance learning theory. So what does it mean? It means that a serendipian person would actually be a creative person with a specific creative profile. So that's why we did this bridge and to build a new uh, definition of what could be the serendipian creative potential. And we define uh, as, as, the, the, as follow, um, ability to generate donc the serendipian creative potential with this definition, ability to generate, recognize, and benefit from unexpected events in the construction of a professional career. So unexpected event here is seen as a learning opportunity or a change of behavior and catalyzed for a new contribution in the creative process, allowing the production of an original and adapted professional choice. Um, here, if we go a little bit further, the, the adapted character here, contextualized in the guidance elements, can be, for example, find a job, uh, find a training, find a program, find studies, find a school, uh, formalize a project, and so on. For the original, uh, element, uh, we have built a little matrix to, uh, is to, to be more precise about the, 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 the level of originality of what uh, the, the, the process uh, will done. And we uh, put two elements. We have the nature 
of what is firm, nature of the project, and the way of achievement of what happens. So we took four examples. First example, we have, uh, and, and there is a, a continuum between expected and unexpected uh, for the two elements. First uh, cross, we have the no serendipity results uh, where you find what you're looking for by a way that you wanted, that you imagine. For example, I would take an, uh, an example for the no serendipity uh, uh, result. Uh, the, the, imagine you, you, are, uh, you have finished your, your school of nursing and you want to work in a psychiatry field and uh, you answer an appropriate uh, job offer and you get your job. This is no uh, serendipity process. Second element, there is the pseudo serendipity uh, level of originality, of originality. In this case, the person will find what, what uh, she's looking for, uh, but with an unexpected way of achievement. For example, we have the, the same person who, who, who wanted to have a, a job in a, a hospital of psychiatry and finish his school. And but in this uh, free time, he play or she play basketball. And at the end of a game and uh, in a weekend, uh, it occurs that one of the uh, player uh, working in uh, an hospital and give uh, her or his uh, opportunity. Uh, and, and, he, and she or he uh, find uh, his opportunity with this um, unexpected event in the play of uh, basketball. It can be uh, a, a use case for the pseudo serendipity case. Uh, the third uh, result here, it will be when you find something you don't expect it by an expected path. Uh, here, the, the, the main, um, the main uh, uh, illustration can be the networking. You know that if we talk to certain people, you can have a certain maybe opportunity is in this field, but there is no, uh, you don't really know what you, you're gonna have, but you know that you can, uh, you can have something when you do this kind of uh, actions, networking due to uh, professional um, uh, events on forum and stuff like that. And you ha will have a um, creativity result if you engage in sort of uh, actions. And the last one, is the serendipity one when you find something you don't expect it by a way you don't expect it. If we talk, if we took the, the same example, um, you, you just finished your, your, your school of uh, nursing and you want uh, a job in a psychiatric uh, hospital, and the weekend you you have a, a basketball match, uh, but you have you have an amazing uh, performance that day and uh, coach. Uh, uh, want you in this team, and you he proposed you to to uh, to, to to go to a, uh, a, a big uh, national club and be a professional basketball player uh, because you have a, an amazing game uh, this day. And here, but you have you find something you don't looking for by an unexpected uh, way, and this could be an example for uh, serendipity. Uh, process, professional process. Uh, if you have question, uh, it's not in, in direct. I send it, the recording of the video, but let me uh, send me mail and I, I will answer you with uh, no problem with that. So here we go. I, I'm going to show you um, one of our study we did with my PhD um, and uh, about the serendipity training. So, so the, the, this in this study we have two parts in the study I will show you. First, the objective of the study was to study the impact of serendipian skills training on the well-being and employability of young people. Uh, the serendipian skills were the one that we talk about in the happenstance learning theory, just to be clear on that. And 
participants in this study uh, just mentioned also that this study took place before COVID two years ago. So uh, maybe it would be different with the, the, the COVID context or just to be to be sure we are in the, in the same page here. Um, so we have two elements here, uh, one with young uh, uh, job seekers needs and one with students and the one with students, we, we, we can have a, a compare group, a control group. So um, yeah, that's why we, we split the, the results in two uh, different studies. Um, experimental, we, we, we did a method, uh, an experimental method. And uh, to do to the analysis, we, we do some uh, test T and ANOVA. So the, the, the design of the study, first of all, there was an interview. Then after one week, you will have the pretest uh, when we uh, took the first measure about serendipian skills, well-being, and employability. Then you will have the serendipian training. Uh, I will focus a little bit about what we create in the in this training. And then after you will have the post-test about the same measure uh, we, did, we we took um, in the pretest, but. After the, the, the training, scientific skills will be in employability. And one month after, we have the follow up with the same measure, scientific skills, well being, and employability. So, what did we uh, find? Ah, not just to, to, to be a, a little um, focused on the, on the training, we have four modules of two hours each. One was about risk taking and tenacity, the second one was about flexibility and optimism. The third one was about exploration and openness. It was the more experimental one because we create really a different type of, uh, exercise, uh, of exercise. And the, the fourth one about creativity with the CPS method, creative problem solving method. All of those exercises, we took some exercises who were in the literature about creativity. Then we adapted to put some unexpected event inside to stimulate the, the, the serendipity. So it's a picture of one of our session of training. It was really a great moment with the participants. Uh, so the, the, the results here, um, we can say that we, we, we can um, uh, see that we have a different, different uh, significant uh, difference uh, between T1 and T2 for uh, the, the young job seekers um, for exploration. Also, we have a uh, significant uh, differences between uh, T1 and T2 for divergent thinking and also for satis satisfaction with life uh, for the, the, the first study, which is a great result in the, the way that we think uh, about when we put our hypothesis before the, the study. Um, so, to be more concrete, thanks to the treaty, to, thanks to the training, people are more able to generate opportunities, produce many ideas in fact of given problem, and be satisfied with their daily situations. Um, for the, the the result between T1, T2, and T3, we have a, a significant impact on self-esteem. It means that people are more in tune with themselves and evaluate themselves more positively than before the training. And that this was really, really important for us because uh, it's with the follow up one month after it's still increasing. So it was the maybe the, the best results of what we did. Uh, between T1, T2, and T3, there's the main uh, unexpected <laughs> result we had uh, it uh, employability. We thought uh, at the first place that uh, we will have a, uh, an, employability, an employability that will enhance thanks to the training, but it was the opposite. It was decreasing. And first of all, we were a little bit, uh, we didn't know how, why it happens. And um, we, hypothesis, we, we, we think with that it was because of uh, how we um, measure the employability. It was an uh, auto-reported uh, questionnaire. But the, 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 the different uh, the dimension that we chose it, it, for the employability was the level of confidence that you get the, jo the job that you want. 
But in all the training, we say that uh, unexpected can happen, unexpected can happen. You can uh, uh, sometimes uh, build a project and have another thing, but it's not uh, a problem and so on and so on. So we think that maybe it was not a, a good way to measure employability. So that's how we think uh, about the, the element and maybe also because we really talk about uncertainties and uncertainties. So it can explain the, 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 the results. Um, for the study with the students, we have the control group in gray, the experimental group in uh, green. And we saw that here you, we have uh, a significant um, result on uh, divergent thinking. Uh, we we see also that in the, the for the control group they have a, a significant uh, decreasing, but we think that it because uh, it's just the the the, uh, the importance of the task that I think they don't really understand the importance of being involved maybe in the uh, in the task, and that's why uh, we have the the, the, the decreasing. Um, yeah, uh, we don't have the same uh, result for the satisfaction we lab, and it's a, a better result for us because it, we have in the experimental group in green, and then there is a, a, a significant uh, uh, amelioration, and it's the same for the control group. So it's more understandable, understandable for for us. <laughs> um, for conclusion perspective, so. What can we say uh, with those uh, results? Uh, we see that uh, serendipian creative potential, we can enhance the serendipian creative potential of the persons. And we also can, and, and those amelioration can also increase the well being of the person with the satisfaction we love and self esteem, as we see. Um, and that's a great. Uh, uh, a result for us, uh, in, even if we did not have the the, uh, the same impact of unprobability. Uh, just to put a little bit or on perspective here, I, I would like just to 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 put some limits in what we did because um, uh, we don't uh, um, have the the. the uh, the, the pretension to 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 have a, a revolution of guidance uh, uh, training, but just to be uh, <laughs> calm with uh, what we did, uh, uh, I present you the system of um, uh, theory framework that just plays uh, the, the 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 what we did with the uh, uh, young job seekers and uh, and some students in this uh, framework. Uh, Patton and uh, McMahon synthesized all the variables that can impact uh, one's career path. And we see in the middle that you have the individual variables like ability, interest, skills, uh, age, uh, and so on, personality, beliefs, health, gender, all the individual elements that can impact the, 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 uh, the career path. Uh, in the second cycle, you have the um, contextual elements like peers, uh, family, uh, globalization, community groups, uh, workplace, employment ma market, and that uh, the, those elements who doesn't uh, uh, who are not uh, in the, the hands of the individual. And in the last circle, it's the, the temporality, temporality um, element that uh, can understand the um, uh, the, the, the the historical. Uh, 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 enchantment of uh, elements between each other and to have the uh, the past and the present and can uh, predict the future that uh, can um, in which the, the person can uh, visu visualize uh, uh, because of all of his past experiences. Uh, and here, you just to, to, to be clear on what we, we see here, you have the, the, the little flash here that I, I put in, in the circles. And those are the um, unexpected events that can happen. So we see that there's a lot and lot and lot and lot of variables that uh, can, ha can uh, have an impact of the, of, uh, on the career path and unexpected element, unexpected event or just one of them. And we just have an impact of just one of all that we can do in, in guidance. So just uh, uh, be uh, calm <laughs> with uh, what we do uh, in this training. 
So I give you a uh, other perspective here to, 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 to what can we do with the, uh, those results and what we, we can uh, build a new protocol with serendipity mm -hmm. here. Uh, we have, uh, Maybe we can build and test new serendipity training. Maybe we can test with uh, other population. Maybe we can uh, imagine uh, changing the, the level of uh, uh, intervention. Maybe what can we build as an environment, as a context to further the, 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 the creativity. Um, and can, we didn't uh, mention the, the, the work on the emotional element, uh, for example, can we, there is some links between uh, love and serendipity, maybe, I don't know. And it can be interesting to uh, go deeper in uh, those uh, elements. So if you have uh, any question, uh, if you are not agree, or if you uh, uh, want to, 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 to discuss about what was uh, more um, uh, uh, precisely in this training, I, I really can uh, answer you. I, I, I'd be glad to, 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 to give you all I have about serendipity. So uh, thank you very much and maybe see you soon in the real life. Thank you very much. <laughs>